Yonkers. I'm a trainer and driver here at uh, North Star Bus Lines. An electric bus, uh, we charge it up here at the end of the day and I also have to charge it up here at the midday. So, plug in with this, easy to disconnect. We plug it into the charging station then. And this is a common uh, adapter. Uh, so it's gonna be suitable for uh, Got five uh, state uh, charging stations to set up they want to put into place. Uh, it's got a 77 passenger capacity. Come on in. Okay. All right. Uh, to start the engine up, it's nice and easy. It's nice and quiet. Just turn to on. Dash warm. Start the lights up. You check those gauges. And this touchpad then will light up. When this comes up and it says Lion Ready, you can start the engine. And hold it for two seconds or so. The engine's running. So, we're driving, we buckle up. That's gonna be an issue. Okay. So, turn the headlights on, get out of here. Uh, heat. This is the frost. Heater. I'll put the heat on. I'll tone down a little bit so it's quieter. This is the gear shift selector. We've got neutral, drive, and reverse. Okay. Now it's on. The, you cannot start the bus up when the engine is plugged in. That's so you don't drive away from the charging port. Okay, we're clear. We've got music playing at a, when we're driving at slow speeds. It, starts, it goes up to 15. It is configurable. And that's because the bus is so quiet otherwise. Here, you can listen. Turn off the sounds off. You can't even hear us rolling up on somebody. When I silence that, I lose the, all the heaters too. The bus is electric. Uh, we're working on getting used to it. Uh, the um, control panel here is helpful. It displays how much, what our current range is, how much power we have available in the battery pack. Help us drive and be more mindful about the battery use. Uh, the bus has this regenerative braking. So when you let off the accelerator, uh, the battery, uh, the drive motor is then gonna act to recapture electricity and put it back into the battery. Okay. Uh, we can see that by, on this, uh, normally this is in operating the blue. When we show the green arc down here, that's for capturing the energy back into the battery. The touch pad gives us access to some additional settings. For instance, we can time when we charge the bus up to capture off-peak hours and where the electricity rates are cheaper. Uh, we can also set it up so that we can have the bus warmed up for us before we start driving. It's called preheat. So I've got mine set for uh, to be heated up by 6 in the morning and by 1.30 in the afternoon. Okay. Uh, that would be indicated by an arc right here on this uh, middle uh, indicator. The bus is uh, standard in other respects. With strobe lights, emergency exits, uh, you know, visor to cut the sun out of your eyes. It's quiet, which is nice. You can hear all the kids, so that's good and bad. If they don't want to be quiet down, you still hear all their noise. Uh, the bus is a little bit wider than normal. It's 102 inches wide instead of 96, and therefore we've got wider aisles here between the seats, which is nice. Most of them think it's pretty cool. Some are just say, okay, it's a different bus, but you know. Uh, some like the music being played. I had a couple of uh, my uh, elementary students uh, 
and they're dancing when I pull up. Uh, not so much from the cold though, but <laughs> the first few days, yeah, they were dancing. Uh, one child said, after he got on and the music played a couple of times, said, driver, can you shut that off? I hate that music. Driver, <laughs> and he let me know for 10 solid minutes, he didn't like that music. And I didn't blame him, I was listening to that all day long. All day's good. The interior lighting is really nice. Mm -hmm. The headlights, although they're small, are really bright. So that's nice to see down the aisle, I mean down the road. Braking is good. The engine is, area is really clean because there's no big diesel motor in there. Diesel provides us more variability right now. Uh, I'm, I've got to be mindful of the range. So if uh, they ask me to help out after my regular route, you know, with another tier, another school, I may or may not be able to do that because of the distance. Okay. Uh, the shop is still learning uh, things about this bus, and we don't want to avoid the manufacturer warranty, so some issues are not resolved quite as fast as they would with a diesel bus because the mechanics are already familiar with all those. So, but uh, you see a lot more electric vehicles on the road. And so if we can get, if the economics of the electric buses are good, then I expect we'll see more of them.